eat that thing. Got it. Oh my gosh. On the rocks. On the rocks. Oh gosh. Don't come off, buddy. Don't come off. That's a good spot, man. That's a good fish. There's nothing like the smell of a Walmart fishing section. You can just smell the reproductive horns coming off these bad boys. I love it. Now I know it seems like everybody and their great grandma's aunt has done this challenge. It just seems like everybody on YouTube has done one of these. And that's why I've been waiting. I've been waiting a long time. I've been waiting until Walmart released or some of their producers or whoever makes these kits released a kit that hasn't been featured in a video yet. I've been coming to Walmart every other month looking to see if I could find a newly released kit. And that is why we've come this morning. Now they've actually released two or three new kits that have not been seen on YouTube to my knowledge. First of all, they started carrying the same mystery tackle box bass fishing kits that are carried at Dick's. And these are some of the most fire bass fishing kits. I actually quite enjoy all the products. They have some Guggen products in here and they got some other cool stuff, but, but I already get mystery tackle boxes in the mail. We've done videos on their bass fishing kits. Big fan, but that's not gonna be today's video. The Lunker Hunt Stick Kit is the second runner up to the kit that we're gonna go with today. It's pretty cool. It's got some wacky rigs. It's got some Texas rigs. They also got rubber bands in this mug, which is gonna keep the worm on the hook much longer than if you didn't have one. And now we are finally getting to what my boy Jay would say. It's the softs. Yum has done it again. They've come out with a $10 kit that has pretty much everything you would need. It's got worms, lizards, stick baits, hooks. The only thing that I think they're missing is some weights and there's only two left. So we're about to snag one right now, head out to the water, see what is in this thing and get it out of Walmart before they just boot me. Really quick, before we wet a line, let me tell you about today's video sponsor. If you love to save some money, you love to whack a fat Sally, Shop Carl's is the place to go. I went ahead and signed up to be a Shop Carl's member and I was able to get some of the stupidest deals ever. I kind of have this nightly ritual now. I get on there late at night, kind of find some crazy deals. Feels like the black market. I get a little adrenaline rush while still feeling like a lawful citizen. It's really fun. And also they ship all my favorite lures straight to my door. If you want to save some money on your gear, click the link in the description. Maybe check out Shop Carl's member membership program let them know i sent you if not that's fine let's get back to the video and whack some fat salads so we have a plethora of baits to choose from it's actually got some pretty good looking baits in here we got a nice blue flake ribbon tail worm we have a kind of turdish green with a couple dark spots in there a little trick worm might do good on a drop shot hook or something like that we got the classic Yum, green pumpkin lizard. That thing is gonna be fire. It's gonna be a perfect bed fishing bait. Then we have a plethora of stick baits. The Yum Dinger, the Davy Gravy Special for those of you who have been around the channel for a while. The Zebco Master himself is obsessed with those stick baits. Unfortunately, old Davy Gravy's putting in those fat hours at Academy Sports right now. The only thing that I see that we're missing right here is a weight, which I have a handful of my own. I'm gonna start out with a weighted Texas rig. First cast on the boat ramp. I have eyes on a spotted bass. We're gonna see what he thinks about this little lizard. So he's sitting right off this point right here. There's this rocky, rocky area in these spots like to pull up right on the sand edge of these points. And he's about six inches from my lizard right now. Come on, little guy. I got my wide face glasses on for nothing. The only problem fishing public water like this for mean spotted bass is a lot of times these fish are caught multiple times throughout the spawn so it's going to be kind of hard to tell what area it's actually protecting it's making some tight circles which gets me excited big tight circle guy come on man do it for the cheap walmart budget kit do it for my fellow wide-faced anglers all right so this guy is finally getting near his bed. That's just how you want it, boy. We are within three casts of this fish really committing to a bite. Got, oh my. 
I don't know if he's gonna bite soon after that. I got him some there. He's not back in the bed. We're gonna see what he does with this next flip, but that is not good. Gee dang it. Okay, he's back. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Eat it. All right, he's got it. He's got it. I don't know what just happened, dude. Did he spit it out? I don't know. So I just set the hook a little bit harder to try to pin him, and I broke off on that rock right there. He's right back on there, though. Okay, he might even still have the lizard in his mouth. We need to get back in fast. Attempt number two on this guy. We got a little bit of a shaky head, the short little turd worm. There's an underwater stare down happening right now. Oh, somebody great there trapped behind me. Son of a biscuit eater. See if he likes the lizard more. Shaky head lizard. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, if you guys can see in the GoPro or the drone shot, but this fish is on it. On it. Mm. Did it have it? Dude, it carried it off. I didn't even realize. Any cast now. Any cast now. Oh, it's got all the fins flared. Come on, girl. Oh my gosh. I wish I had a couple more like baits with claws or something in that kit because I don't really think this fish cares about worms right now. I think it's on a strict crawfish, lizard, protect the bed type diet. This is right where I want it. It's just being a little stubborn. Eat that thing. Got it. Oh my gosh. On the rocks. On the rocks. Oh gosh. Don't come off, buddy. Don't come off. That's a good spot, man. That's a good fish. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's how you want them to eat it, dude. That is how you want them to eat it. Yes. That was so sick. There is no hook from that lizard earlier, but what a chunky little spot, man. Not much of a fight. It was on the bank immediately. Beautiful spotted bass. Look how big and red those mean, mean spotted eyes are. Woo. Some absolute jeans to be a fat, fat girl. Tiny shades, baby. Tiny shades. All right, buddy. Oh my gosh. Right back to his bed. The shades, man, they work wonders. They do, they do what I need them to. I'm not, I don't even know what brand these are. I've just never worn them because I've always had such a big face that when I wear them, I just feel like I gained 50 pounds. You know what I'm saying? We have successfully kicked this challenge off with a fish on public waters, which I always feel like if you can complete part of a challenge on some public waters, especially some clear public water where the fish can see the actual lure, chomp it down, it kind of lets you know this lure is no joke. Now that we've given this boat ramp about an hour, it's time to head to some private waters, a little farm, a little juicy bass hole, see what else is lurking. See you guys at location number two. Boop. That was a hard hit, dude. From the crystal clear water of the Chattahoochee River to this murky, grassy, juicy farm pond. Location number two, folks, we've made it. It's one of my favorite little ponds to fish, but I never throw anything weighted because it's so grassy. Even though this pond is only like an acre or two, there's some nice two, three pound sallies swimming around in there, lurking, waiting for a little budget budget kit to the face hole. Let's bust this thing open and see what else is cracking and lacking. I'm gonna go with the lighter hook. Oh yeah, that one's definitely lighter. And I think we're gonna go with, let's go with this red little pepper flake. It's a good color, man. I think the fish in here are gonna munch this up. Oh, got one. 
Oh, he spit it. That's a good sign. That was like a second cast, dude. The yum dinger strikes. No, no. I don't know if I'm aiming for the whole slam thing today, but I am kind of hoping that we can catch a fish on at least every style of bait. Got him. What in the heck, man? Why, dude? That's a good sign. That's like three bites in a row. Oh, I got him. The tiniest fish in this pond. Dude, this is why I've been having trouble hooking up. I told you guys there's a lot of big fish. There's also a lot of these little pipsqueaks. Fish number one on the yum dinger stick bait. In this mug, son. Dude, I got bit by something a lot bigger than this. I just, I didn't connect. I don't know what happened. It was like one of those bites where you don't expect it and the rod's getting pulled down and, oh, let's get this guy back in the water. See you, buddy. First cast at the tree, something pulled on the rod. I thought it was like, like a five pound plus. I didn't even have time to react. It was just almost right out of my hand. It's a good sign. We finally were able to land one. You just gotta kind of sort through these tiny fish. It's just your typical farm pond loaded to the brim with just hungry bass. Let's go ahead and retire this stick bait. I say we keep this green train going. Knock out all three of our green colors and then tackle down the little bit darker looking baits. Maybe the smaller profile will be a little bit better in there. Slipping through some of these underwater branches and trees and getting some areas that bigger one did not fall Just keep it moving dude. We we fished this bank pretty dang hard Oh my gosh Oh, he's in the grass. Hold on little buddy. Let me get you out of there. Oh Wow, as soon as I tell you guys there's a chance that we catch a nice three pound chunk, we only catch dweebs. Woo! Another stick bait down, not a big fish by any means, but it pulled back and that's what matters. We're gonna move on down our stick bait list. Try this black and blue. I've never had good luck with the black and blue color out here, but for the sake of this challenge, we could potentially catch a fish on every single plastic in this basket. I think that could be pretty awesome. We're gonna keep on chugging. Rig up the last weightless rig. Then I'm gonna move on to the dreaded weighted Texas rig in the grassiest pond in the Southeast. We're gonna give it a full on dangle. The whole point of these challenges is not to sell anything to you. I'm not sponsored by any of these. Set my boys over it. Shop cars. But when it comes to these bass fishing kits and Walmart products, I just want you guys to know you can get out, whack a sally, you don't have to break the bank. You can have a good time and you don't have to spend a kajillion dollars. Moving down, crossing them out. Got the lizard, both hooks, both of the green stick baits. Now we got the blue and then we'll only have two little worms left. We could do the slam, man. And who knows, we could catch a nice little fat sally. All right, see if we can't find that fish's great grandma and her chubby hubby. This time of year, it's always smart to make the same cast you just made if you catch a little dink. You never know if that was the male and the big female came in to guard those eggs. You never know if that was a big old fat mama's boyfriend protecting the babies and now she's pulled up waiting to eat whatever you throw in next. Not the case for me today though. Come here, son. I hooked him on the outside, but the worm is inside. I have no idea how that happened. Dude, time after time after time, I'm expecting a big old 
fatty. Set the hook, and this is what I come up with. This is a mean, mean fish, dude. The worm is like this big compared to the fish. This fish has no care in the world. Just an absolute classic bougie ratchet down there, just... Gosh, I hate the way that sounds. Oh my. Buddy, you're, you're gonna have to figure this out. You're gonna have to figure out what you wanna do. Dude, what the heck? The old buddy needs to tell us. Are you kidding me? You retard. What the heck, dude? Go. In the water. Ah. I, I, I don't know. Guys, I didn't want to do it. Heavyweight, the bigger hook, the ribbon tail worm. It's one of my favorite rigs to throw, just not in shallow grass ponds. <coughs> yes! Yes! I don't know if you can throw a ribbon tail weightless. I guess the good news is we're able to cover a lot of water with this thing. Well, drastic times call for drastic measures. Oh, yeah, this one's definitely a sit down. This is probably gonna end so bad. <laughs> Got him. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Earlier when I was playing with this, I accidentally loosened my drag. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, I thought that was gonna be a little bit bigger because this worm is bigger. But it wasn't. That was, I don't know if you guys saw it good. It should not have pulled drag at all. It hit just like a tank, dude. That one thump, almost like a jig bite. Oh my gosh. Almost just went in again. Well, that's unfortunate. Behind the bat. Last one in the car. Oh, yes. And that's why I coach only let me do chest passes. Oh, baby. The most unstable kayak ever. I believe that's all she wrote. I have been fishing this pond for the last three hours and these birds are having better luck at catching fish than me. For some reason, we were not able to connect with any good size in this pond, but we did land that fat little spot at the opening of this video. I'm not done with this pond though. We're gonna come back this summer with some frogs, with some juicy stuff. I might even take Lojo here soon and show you guys. There's some chunky fish in here, I promise. Also, Yum does not pay me a dollar, neither does Walmart, but I was really pleased with what came inside of the budget fishing kit. It was one of the best I've ever got. I love a stick bait, I love a lizard, I love a curly tail worm. The only thing they really missed was some weights. If we would have had some tungsten, maybe even just some cheap little bullet weight, something to kind of help fish some of the plastics that really actually need a weight, that would have been nice. I've been trying everything. We were not able to finish the slam, but that spotted bass on the drone was just freaking gnarly. If you want to see me link back up with old Colton, come back out to his pond, maybe he can show me how to catch some fat sallies. Let me know. I'm going to prove to you guys there's some fat sallies lurking in this pond. I promise it's going to happen. If you want to see any other budget friendly videos, some budget challenges, or Walmart fishing kits, or you see any products that would just be a cool video, make sure to comment down below. Leave a like if you like these videos. And oh my gosh, my shoulder's cramping. This camera is freaking heavy. I love you, Sally Whackers. You guys are freaking. I gotta get out of here. I'll see you on the next one. If you know what I'm saying. You can smell the anxiety of me just trying to film myself.
Holy. <laughs>